Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to promote your YouTube channel. This week has really been focused on promotion. The other videos that I posted earlier this week are focused on how to do Google Ads and then how to promote via Reddit if you watched my quantity versus quality episode. This video is specifically going to talk about how to promote your content. So. What are the options that you have available? Number one is Google Ads. There's a right way and a wrong way to buy views on YouTube. The right way is promoting your content via Google Ads. If you want a deep dive or at least a basic guide on how to do that, I've already posted a video on this. You can go watch how to promote your channel using Google Ads or how to buy views using Google Ads. I A-B test, so it's probably gonna be a different title by now. Another thing that you can do is you can go on forums on Reddit. I should do a breakout video on this, but specifically just create an account on Reddit and then start searching communities of people that are already sharing the kind of content that you make. So if you're a cooking channel, I have great news for you. There's like five million cooking people on Reddit that are on like seven different subreddits and you can post your video over and over again on every single one of those pages. You don't want to spam r slash videos. Don't go general, go specific. So whatever your niche is, that's what you want to focus on Reddit. So now that I've talked about Google ads, I've talked about Reddit, what are you left with? Guerrilla marketing. That's the next one. We're going to talk a little bit about guerrilla marketing. Do you have a coffee shop near you? Have you thought about coffee shops that are near you? Restaurants that are near you? Businesses that might partner with you? Print out some index cards or make some flyers, make some handouts that are made of paper, and literally go to your local coffee shop and post on bulletin boards and say, Hi, I'm so-and-so and I have a channel about X. Come watch it. You can literally, you can post those on street signs in your local neighborhood. Careful where you do that. You know, you may not want to advertise yourself and where you live too much. So I try to go outside my immediate neighborhood to promote this stuff. But essentially what you're doing when you're starting a YouTube channel is you're building a community. And I know it seems silly because you're like, what's that gonna get me, two or three subscribers? Yes, but it's gonna get you local people in your area that you might run into that will meet you and go, I watch your channel. And guess what, those people are gonna be infinitely more loyal to you than anyone that you acquire using Google ads or posting on social media about. So activate your base, activate the people in your life, make sure that they're seeing your content because I'm sure they wanna support you. Your parents wanna support you. You have a network of people, like maybe there's some people in your high school that are still active on Facebook or Instagram. And if you did an Instagram or Facebook post once a month, just once a month, not every day, please, for the love of God, don't promote yourself every day. You'll drive people crazy. No one likes spam. So make sure that you're creating inter intervals for yourself to reach out to your existing community. Everybody has an existing community. If you think you don't, you actually do. There's a lot of people out there that actually care about you that you probably don't even think about that would be more than happy to watch your videos. So you can do guerrilla marketing, promoting on your own social media. If you have existing social media, write a post about it. Do it like once a month and be like, hey, I thought this video was really special. I thought you guys would enjoy it. Post some index cards, like little hand-drawn index cards of your face with a link to the name of your channel. And then post those on bulletin boards and local coffee shops or restaurants. Put your cards, you can make business cards and put those in offices, right? If your channel's about cooking or making donuts, go to some donut shops and like actually give them your card or something and be like, hey, I have a channel about making donuts if you wanna watch it, right? Those are your target audiences and they're gonna know you and they're gonna be like, I know that guy and he makes YouTube content, go watch it. Like I've converted people that I never thought would be interested in my videos just from posting on my own Instagram page. So I highly recommend if you have existing social already, even if you never post, take the effort to do some basic guerrilla marketing that costs nothing, costs printing a piece of paper, right? If you wanna spend a lot of money, buy Google Ads. You can buy Google Ads. You could spend $10,000 promoting your channel right now, like tomorrow. If you just have 10 grand, you can do that. By the way, I think you're crazy. There's a longer conversation you and I need to have about spending stupid amounts of money to buy views. You can do that. There's a smart way and a dumb way to do that. I'll do it. I should, I need to do an in-depth guide on how to do Google ads, but this is a general overview 
on promoting. The in-person method is going to convert the smallest number of people, like going out in person and handing out flyers. That's going to convert a very small number of people, but it's going to convert the highest quality people, the people that actually want to engage with you and get to know you as a person and will stick by you throughout. And some of the best people I've met are people I've met in my local area that are still watching my content. And if you're ever seeing one to two likes on every single one of my videos, it's them. It's my friends and family, you know, coming on to support me, right? And you can do that too. So just know that those options are available to you. Finally, the most obvious one and the one that this entire channel is about making good content. And what is made before you roll your eyes and go, oh, making good content, is that's the secret. I just have to make good content. Yes. But on this channel, I talk about ways that you can measure how good your content is. Good content is subjective. I never talk about good content. I talk about content I personally like and content I personally don't like, but mainly I'm focused on what, what's following the rules. I have a rule set that I follow, right? It's the four things I talk about it in almost every video. Title, thumbnail, topic, first eight seconds, click-through rate. Having a high click-through rate. So if you have a high click-through rate, you're going to get a lot of clicks, which means you're going to get a lot of views. And if you picked the right niche, if you pick the right topic, you're going to get a lot of views. My niche is really hard. Educating people on how to succeed on YouTube, there's a really small number of people who are interested in that kind of content. That's why my secret, at least for this channel, I'm a B2B channel, which means a business to business channel. I'm trying to generate leads as a consultant. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in what I'm saying, you can actually pay me to come help you. That's why I'm making all of this content, because I'm trying to find high quality leads that want to pay me to help them make good content and grow their channels quickly. That's why I'm sharing all of this information. You know, yes, I'd love to have views, but I know my niche is tough. But if you're a cook or you're a gaming vlogger, those niches are huge. And what does that mean? It means a lot of other people are making that content, which means it's much easier to get exposure in the algorithm because the algorithm is just based on suggested views and what else exists. If you're creating a totally new thing, like Tirzu did like game gamified, you know, the animal kingdom. Like that's crazy. You can go check out Tirzu and see what I'm talking about. But there's some weird channels out there that have incredibly original ideas that grew really quickly. And why is that? They did not play the algorithm game. They figured out how to promote their content really well. They activated a community, whether it was friends and family, the city or town that they were in, handing out postcards, going on Reddit forums, the right Reddit forums. Don't go on the wrong Reddit forums. You want to find people that are relevant to your niche. That's how truly original content gets views these days. Otherwise, you're creating unoriginal content. That's not a bad thing. Every idea on YouTube has already been thought of. The world absolutely needs to hear your voice and needs to hear another gaming vlogger because you're going to have a unique take, even if it means covering the same video games that everyone else covers. The algorithm is based off of suggested views. So if you're in a niche that's really popular, you're going to grow very quickly algorithmically, and you may not need to do as much marketing, if any marketing. But if you're in a tough niche like me, you have to do marketing. And when I started this process of creating my channel, I was very naive in thinking I was going to grow fast and get the views that other gaming vloggers were getting. And then I was like, oh, I'm in kind of a tough niche. And I'm actually going to show you what I mean. I, I, I'm going to pull open a screen share right now and just literally show you how tough this niche is. So I have this companion app. It's a Google Chrome extension called vidIQ, and it tells you essentially search volume. So right now I'm going to look up YouTube channel review, and you can see the search volume is about 38 out of 100. I'm waiting for these results to process, but normally what it, what it will do is show you, yeah, the highest view count is a million, average view is about 300,000. So you can see there's about 38 out of 100. It's a lower score. Now let's type in something like Elon Musk. So a channel that covers Elon Musk, you can see 56 out of 100. It's a slightly higher SEO score with much higher average views and much higher views in general. Now let's type in like Red Dead Redemption 2. 
which is going to be a huge keyword. Okay, medium. All right, slightly lower than Elon Musk. Okay, Elon Musk is a lot more popular than, than I was expecting. But you can see way more views, much bigger space. By the way, you can go on vidIQ's website and you'll get a much clearer view of, you know, what the growth is here. But stuff like YouTube channel reviews hits a much smaller audience than Red Dead Redemption 2. So the biggest limiting factor in how quickly you can promote and grow is really going to be the niche that you pick, not the quality of your content. So if you pick a tough niche, you're going to have to do more marketing. If you pick a great niche, you're going to have to do less marketing, prob probably. We can't always predict what's going to work. So I hope you found this interesting. If you want me to deep dive any of this stuff or like the strategies that I use to promote on Reddit, it's shockingly simple. You're probably overthinking it, but I'm happy to do a video on it. Just let me know. I want to recap everything that we just talked about. So promoting on Reddit, finding niche communities on Reddit that are already talking about what you do all day and posting your content there, not spamming it, never spam. Two is buying views using Google Ads, which I have a video on, just the basics of it and how it works. Number three is guerrilla marketing. Reach out to your community. Reach out to your friends and family. I know they may not like it, but you never know. Your uncle may be like, I have a cousin that you don't know about or a friend at a coffee shop that also makes YouTube content that would love watching. You never know, right? So reach out to your community and remind your community that you exist. Activating your close community is really going to help you and it's going to make you feel better because they're going to be there to support you and comment on your content and just make you feel better in general. There's the algorithm. If you just have a good niche, you're going to grow in the algorithm really quickly. Okay, Reddit, Gorilla, Google Ads, algorithm. Anyway, that's my time. I hope you all have a great day. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'm going to remind you again, hit that subscribe button. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye.